Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasha Allah, Koholoyim La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash. The honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Shah Hanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And, um, you know, a couple of things kind of stuck out by the spirit and you know with this article um so you know you want to be aware of esau and his you know his way of getting down you know once you come into this truth you start to see the ways of the the enemy the ways of the wicked so you have to really consider stories and you know you have to just filter through stuff because you know esau he deals with a lot of smoke screens he deals with a lot of um you know, just he's a cunning hunter. The scriptures talks about him being a cunning hunter. So a cunning hunter, what they do is they'll camouflage, blend in with the terrain and and and, and hunt, hunt their prey. You know, and it's harder for you to see them because they blended in with the terrain. You know, like how they, you know, military wears camouflage, so to speak. But anyway, it was just a few things that kind of stuck out with the story. Now, this guy right here, he appears to be a Edomite, but he may not be. He could be a Jake. Because, you know, um, this truth is not a color thing. It's um, it's not about a black or white because no one's actually black or white. Those are just social constructs that the so-called white man came up with, with his cunning hunting techniques and hunting skills. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how Esau gets down. He has placed colors on people as nationalities to basically, you know, get around the fact that he's actually a damn Edomite. He's Esau, Edom. That's their biblical nationality. There's no such thing as white people. And there's no such thing as black people, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You come from the seed line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which Jacob, you know, his name was changed to Israel or Yashallah in the Hebrew tongue, which means he's the prince of the power. And he had 12 sons, and each one of us come from one of those 12 sons, which are the 12 tribes of Israel. And that's who the Lord is coming from and he, coming for in these last days, because that's he's an Israelite. From one of the tribes which you know the main tribe that he's from is um yahweh or you know which the world eagerly calls judah because there's no letter j's in hebrew they wasn't called they wasn't saying judah back when he walked the earth they wasn't saying jesus or jehovah or none of these names they was calling the father by his by his name yahweh which means he exists or the existing one in the paleo hebrew and they was calling um the son's name our savior and king which the world eagerly calls jesus yahweh shai which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. So those names are very important to know. But let's get off into some of this article and I'm gonna point out, you know, the, uh, what I, by the spirit, feel to be sneaky. So, you know what I'm saying? So, but um, it says Tennessee teen has hands and feet removed after infection. So he's been amputated, you know? And, and of course, you know, they're gonna show you that, that cute kid. Look at this guy, he's handsome. You know, he had his whole life ahead of him. He, he, you know, he loved soccer, football. You know, he loved hockey. You know, all these different. He was a skateboarder. You know, something. You know how they get now, because you know, of course, they got a GoFundMe set up. You know, because it, I mean, you know, it, 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 I can see it being a hard thing as a teenager like this to lose your hands and your feet, not just one hand. You know, not just one foot. But the Lord took all four of his. You know, um, I mean, come on, man. That's a hey, the Lord. Look, man, <laughs> the Lord is not to be played with, man. And this is why it's so important to repent. It says the procedure saved the boy's life, but he has more surgeries planned. The teenager from Tennessee had to have his hands and feet removed to save his life from a rare and deadly bacterial infection. Matthias, you ride 14. See, he's 14 years old. That's a, that's a terrible thing to go through at 14 years old. Sumner County, just northeast of Nashville, you know, country western um, uh, uh, capital, basically. You know, them, them, them country singers down there. I think that's where they got the most country radio stations in the world at down there in Tennessee. You're going to hear some country music. It says he, um, he has spent two months in the Mon Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital after his, check it out, his flu-like symptoms quickly deteriorated into an episode of cardiac arrest see now they're they're saying flu like they're not actually saying flu you see what i'm saying so what's flu like 
I mean, is it that season already? Because I'm here in the Midwest, you know what I'm saying, where it gets, you know, br brutally cold. It can't be that cold in Tennessee already, you know, so to speak, you know, around the time when they get to talking about you need to come and roll your sleeves up. And, you know, they promoting all that right now. They're promoting, you know, the um, the FLU. They, they promoting the, the RSV. They're promoting, the you know, already the COV. They're promoting the Boost Mobiles to go with it. So, you know, that 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 promotion of those particular things is on the rise right now. And then they can use something like this to scare the shit out of people. Come through. You know how many people are about to go and, 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 and take their children to roll them sleeves up because they, they're scared. They, they'll be scared that their child might lose their hands or their feet. Come on. Going to a cardiac arrest. Think about these words that are being used here, man. You see, it says he was diagnosed with pneumonia. Oh, I forgot. They want you to come and take that 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 jump shot, too. I forgot about that. They promoting that, too. So they're promoting like five, six different damn hookups, you know, to go along with the boost mobiles. And you know what I'm talking about. We just using, you know, different little code words, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? You got to catch on, man. You know, we're, we're trying to keep these channels afloat these days because we lost mad. I lost. I don't know how many channels, man, I'm doing the COV uh, 19 um, era, so to speak. Man, I lost maybe six, seven, eight channels, man, maybe 10 channels, you know, just speaking on it. Anyway, he was diagnosed, he was diagnosed with pneumonia and strep to co streptococcal, toxic shock syndrome. Never heard of that before. And he has had to use the ECMO machine to pump blood throughout the throughout his body while he recovers. It's extremely rare. The leader of UROB's care team at the Nashville Hospital, Katie Boyle, MD, told local news, sometimes when you get the flu, it does set. So why, do, why, does, it, why does this need to hit the local news? See, this is Esau, the cunning hunter, honey. Why does this need to hit the local news? There's plenty of people that go through stuff that's rare, that's not hitting the news, but why is this on the news? We know why it's on the news. Because, you know, he, he's in a position of promoting his, his, his new hookup. You know what I'm saying? So just beware, man. It says um, sometimes when you get the flu. So they said flu-like symptoms. Now, I guess they're saying now nah, he, he actually, I don't know. They said pneumonia. It says sometimes when you get the flu, it does set you up for bacterial infection. But even then, most kids don't get nearly as sick as Matthias did. This machine saved his life, but blood wasn't reaching his extremities, prompting doctors and his parents to make the difficult decision to amputate them. Wow. Okay, yeah, Salakia was kicking it with the neighbor. I'll be having to pause and so Salakia for that. Uh, but anyway, you get you get the point. Uh, let me get this this part back right here. It says he was diagnosed with pneumonia, and uh, oh no, we went we got all that. Let's move on. It says he remains in the hospital. He'll more likely be in there for another couple of months for surgeries and stuff. Um, of course, they got the GoFundMe. Uh, Dr. Boyle advised families to keep an eye on their children's health and to keep them up to date on their seat, on their shots. See? If they can't drink fluids, won't wake up, or have a high fever, it's time to seek medical care. But see, hey, that, but see this is the whole thing right here. And I'm just going to grab a couple of scriptures because I'm kind of pressed for time on something here. But, um, see, you, you just got to watch Esau, man. He's a fucking cunning hunter. And see, they'll slip something like, see, they, they know that they done overplayed the, the other shot shot, the jump shot. You know, they, they done overplayed that a little bit. So now they're going to ease, you know, he has no problem easing into it with a story like this. Because out of all the stories that they're telling you that's rare, they didn't have to touch on this story, man. That would have just been one in the bucket and that's that, you know. But it, it has made the national headlines why because they want you to it's, it, it's a fear thing man they want to scare you into well you know what about you know when i gotta and people don't be thinking man motherfuckers don't think for themselves here man this is um second corinthians 2 and 11 it says lest satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices See, like I said, again, when you come into this truth, what you're going to realize is we have enemies and that that enemy, he has a playbook and he uses that. See, Esau is not creative at all. They got one playbook they've been running with forever because it works. 
but see, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we can see through what he's doing. You see? And you know the scriptures talks about um, be not ignorant of any matter, whether greater or small. See, this may seem small to somebody, but in the spirit, we can see this as being something large because this is something that could scare the shit out of you and say, oh, I'm taking all the babies. And you know, the, the wife fussing with the husband, the husband fussing with the wife. We need to get the children to the, you know, and, and get these, you know, all these things done. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, let me grab one more. Um, uh, oh, yeah, let me get this one. And I'm going to end out here. It's a lot of uh, Yahweh Okay, Because can you imagine losing both of your hands and your feet? And you're 14 years old. And I'm willing to bet. I'm surprised they didn't throw it in there that, you know, he's a, you know. He loves to play sports and all this other shit. But, you know, of course, they threw the, the little picture. Look at him. He's so handsome. Man. People are going to feel sorry. They're going to probably raise about a million dollars for his ass to go fund me. Anyway, it says. Um, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Can you imagine that? Because, matter of fact, let me get this too. Salakia. I thought about this when I first seen this story. This is going off into Moses, but um, Exodus 4 and 11. And we know that it's the Lord that does these things because it's, the scripture says that the Lord, he wounds and he makes alive. I mean, he, he kills and he makes alive. He wounds and he heals. So the Lord is the one that's causing this wounding of this guy to lose his hands and his feet. <clears throat> you know, that's a judgment for real. That's hell right there. Here you go. You, 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 you know, you just about to begin life as a, as a man, a young man. And your ass is in a wheelchair while they, you know, trying to fit you for prosthetics and shit like that. So you can possibly get out here and and, and, and walk and, you know, uh, 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 man. Hey, anyway, Exodus 4 and 11, it says, who hath made man's tongue? Salakia, who hath made man's mouth? Or who maketh the dumb or deaf or the same or the blind? Have not I the Lord? So we know that the Lord is in control of the way that people are. When you see a blind person, the Lord done that. When you see a deaf person, the Lord done that. If a person can't speak, the Lord done that. If a person loses a leg or he was born or joined to another person on some Siamese twin shit, that was the Lord, man. And see, these are things that are not brought out in the Christian church. And I, I feel as if they're very uh, important to know because to know the nature of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is to know to fear him. And the scriptures talks about um, how uh, fear is the beginning of wisdom, man. Fear is the beginning of, 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 of this knowledge, man. Because people don't fear the Lord. And you know why they don't? Because they've been sold on white Jesus. That false idolatrous um, blonde hair, blue eyed white Jesus picture where he's looking all heavenly. Looking all he's look. Matter of fact, he's looking about like this guy. <laughs> You know, all these pictures that you see of white Jesus, they kind of give you that picture of, uh, of somebody looking like this guy. Oh, he looks all nice. He looks all, you know, like he's never done anything in his life. Oh, he loves everybody. You know, they give you that Jesus Christ loves everybody crap. Come as you are. But they don't know that the Lord, he's the one that kills, he makes alive. You see? He's the one that, um, um, uh, matter of fact, let me just grab one more. It's Amos 3 and 6. It says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? See? The Lord is the one that does um, these, you know, when, when you see things like these earthquakes that's going on in Morocco, the fl uh, that flood from the dam breaking over there in um, Libya. Thousands of people got swept away out of their damn um, house while they were asleep. See, that's the Lord, man. And the thermal nuclear fire that's coming to America, that's the Lord that's coming to this place, man. And it's going to be a lot more people that's just going to get knocked off, man. And it's going to be a time like never before. But I just wanted to touch on this, man. Hey, be aware of Esau, Edom, man. Because he'll use something like this right here to have you take your damn kid somewhere and let him get to um, shooting that, that, that jerry curl juice. You know what I'm saying? That activator. Because they are, now they have a new one. If you've been keeping up with, with what's been going on, you know, these companies got a new thing thing for you, if you know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to end out there, man. I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.